Good morning to all. This is my family, and we belong to the St. Henry's family. Our morning devotion, Strengthening Families. I will be your song leader for this morning devotion. Walking with Jesus, praying with Jesus. We are the family that prays every day. Walking with Jesus, praying with Jesus. We are the family that prays every day. There is no such thing as a perfect family. Why? Because Satan is attacking families in particular. Your children, moms, dads, and anyone else that is a part of your family. But with God's amazing love and guidance, we can learn how to be strengthened families. Many people lost trust in their own family. That's why we need to pray for our family and the family of God. We need to be a God's plan because, as Emmanuel said, no family is perfect. We argue, we fight, we even start speaking to each other. But in the end, a family that prays together stays together. My favorite scripture verse is, Train up your child in the way he shall go, and where he is all, he shall not depart from it. Proverbs 22 says, Nicodemus asked two questions. One, how can a man be born again when he is old? And two, how can he enter into his mother's womb a second time? Jesus replied, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus said to Nicodemus in John 3 3, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This is what our family needs to hear. We do not live to glorify our family. Our family lives to glorify God. We are the family of God's scripture verses. So let our families live by those scripture verses. So this question before we end our morning's devotion. What do you think we pray for our families? When we pray for our families, we're submitted to God and calling for Him to intervene. Remember, in John 3, 16, he says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He will strengthen our families. To conclude, I encourage you to strengthen your family with prayer and fasting, trust, obedience, read God's word together, show love to one another, but most of all, put God first. Also, remember to honor your parents.